Speaking of updating, now since invoices cannot be edited, a variety of information can be updated to prevent the need from reversing or crediting the invoice, which we'll discuss, discuss shortly, and creating the invoice again, but rather we can use the update button to propagate such changes to the invoice. Let's take a look at one of our existing invoices. Again, we'll reprint. And I noticed that on item one for our California King bed, I have footboard and also feet board. So I'd rather change feet board to footboard. And I don't uh, particularly want to credit this invoice already as I have payments against it and will prevent it from doing so. So I can go back into our specifications for that project. Make sure I see all of my options. There's our California King bed. And I can change feet board to foot board. If I click OK, I've now saved my change. To display that change on the invoice, I go back to the client invoice existing tab, hit the update, and select what, what feature I want to update. I want to update the descriptions. If I leave my item number blank, Design Manager is going to update all of them, which may or may not be desirable. I'll make sure that I just update the description of my particular item. And I've noticed that I don't have a transaction description, so maybe I'll input that as well. Master bedroom or something to that effect is just fine. Now if we click OK, I'm always warned that I want to, um, that I'm updating the items and I owe the invoice and I, uh, do I really wish to continue? Well, I do. And now I can immediately see that my transaction description has been updated. And if we reprint, I can see that both of my footboard uh, verbiage has been changed, and I can send this off to the client without the embarrassing spelling mistake on there. Now, in Design Manager, you have the same functions. Let's hop over there. Here, Let's go to the same project. In fact, if I want to make, if I want to use my update feature in Design Manager, I highlight the invoice itself and I click the adjust button, or I could right click and do adjust. Either way, we can now see all of our functionality for updating the invoice information. So I could simply say I want to do so, and then again I could change my description or update my transaction description, remarks, etc. So you can do several things from the update uh, invoices feature, including updating the descriptions, changing the layout, or even updating the remarks. So you do have some options to uh, just change some of the um, more conceptual pieces of the invoice itself, not so much the accounting behind it.